Hello viewers, welcome to this lesson. We are going to talk about the difference between arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. It's good to know about the definition of the sequence so that we'll be talking about something that we know. So a sequence is just a set of numbers called terms arranged in some particular order. And there are two types of sequences. That is arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. Uh, the detail of arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence is in our previous videos. So you can get into the channel to catch up with that. So about the arithmetic sequence, it's a sequence with a common difference. This is the sequence with a common difference and uh, the common difference is a, is, a, is a constant. On the other hand, geometric sequence is a sequence with a common ratio, which is also a constant. And it's denoted by R. The other one is denoted by D. So, examples. We want to find the common ratio of the following sequence. So, we have number 1 up to 4. So in the first sequence, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16, as it continues, we have the common ratio to be 2, because we are going to take 2 over 1 is equal to 4 over 2 is equal to 8 over 4 is equal to 16 over 8, and that will give you 2, which is a common ratio. You can do the same with number 2, 3, and 4. To be able to get the common ratio. On the other part, find the next term in each of the previous sequences. So we've been given sequences here. We want to find the next term in the sequence. So for part one, we have a sequence of 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16 as it continues then we will be able to for us to get the next term in the of the sequence we'll be able to know the we'll be able to come up with a ratio or even the common difference depends with which type of sequence if it is if it is arithmetic sequence then we are going to look for the common difference if it's a geometric sequence you're going to look for the common ratio so that we be able to find the next term of the sequence so in the number one we have the next term to be 32 because there's a common ratio of 2 so that means when you multiply 16 times 2 you get 32 in number two we have 27 9 3 1 a third and the next term of that so in this case we are going to have a common ratio we get a common ratio first after which we'll be able to multiply with the last term and be able to get the next term of the of the sequence so the common ratio is a uh, 1 over 3 because it is 9 over 27, that is 1 over 3. Uh, 3 over 9 is still 1 over 3. And now you can take 1 over 3 times 1 over 3, you'll get 1 over 9. You do the same with number 3, number 4, to be able to determine the next term of the sequence. So right now, we can play some guess on the sequence. I give you a sequence and you guess the type. Remember the type, we only have two, so it's either arithmetic sequence or geometric sequence, depending on uh, which, depending on the common ratio or the common difference. So in part A we have 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. So you can just determine this by looking at the sequence is, is, is is on the increase or rather is increasing by which number 
can be and that is what will give you either a common difference or the common ratio so in part a as you can see we have 8 minus 3 that will be 5 13 minus 8 that is also 5 so it is increasing by 5 so that is in part a so being increasing by 5 that means it's arithmetic because it has a common difference in number 2 part b i mean uh, this sequence is increasing by a half not not really by by 2 sorry by 2 because we have 2 over 1 4 over 2 that is 2 8 over 4 that is 2 16 over 8 that is 2 so the common ratio there is the common ratio there is 2 so that means the next term of the second can be 32 but because we are involving it involves the common ratio then that means it is a geometric sequence you can try part c d e and f just to see which type of sequence it's all about i mean the type of sequence that we are looking for there remember the type of sequence can in cases where the the sequence is not arithmetic or geometric then uh, in that case you can just say you will say neither or you will say none as part of your answers okay so these are some of the answers number one we got arithmetic and that is true because the reason is because of the common difference of five number two was geometric sequence the reason is the common ratio of two and now this is what I, I was talking about number five and six you realize that number five the sequence is neither arithmetic nor geometric so in that case you can say none or neither but of course you know the reason why we are doing this it's because the sequence is not really um, having any of this common ratio or a difference so that means for a sequence to be considered arithmetic or geometric it must have it must have the common ratio or a common difference for that matter so let's look at another aspect of comparison we are going to compare the geometric sequence and arithmetic sequence based on their nth term their nth term so the nth term of arithmetic sequence is a plus n minus 1d where a is the first term and d is the common difference on the other hand, the nth term of the geometric sequence is a r raised to power n minus 1, where a is the, a is the first term, sorry, and r is the common ratio. So with that, we'll be able to see a clear comparison between the two, because they don't really have the same nth term, or rather the rule for the nth term. Okay, so let's look at some of the sample problems. Find the first four terms and state whether the sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. So these are some of the nth term of different sequences. And so we are going to just determine the sum of the first four terms and be able to state whether the sequence that we are getting is arithmetic or geometric or not so number one we have the nth term of 3n plus 2 now to find the first four terms of this sequence then we are going to replace n with n with n with 1 sorry then 2 then 3 and then 4 so that the first term 
Okay, we have the values of n here, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4, because we've been asked about the first four terms. So we will substitute when n is equal to 1, then get the, the first term. Of course, it will be 5. Substitute again when n is equal to 2. In the nth term, we'll, we get 8. Again, we substitute when n is equal to 3. In the same nth term, you get 11, and so on, you get 14. So at the end, we have a sequence that is 5, 8, 11, 14. That is some of the first four terms of the sequence, and it's making a sequence with the common difference to be 3.